Today I'm going to show you how to use Tollins Reagent to apply a perfect mirror finish to anything you can think of. This is an old light bulb I silver plated and I think it's one of the more beautiful things I've ever made. Anyway, to get started you need a chemical called silver nitrate, which I made in part 1 and you can also buy on eBay but it's incredibly expensive. You want to begin by dissolving the silver nitrate in distilled water so that you have a solution that's at least 0.1 molar. As you can see here, my solution is pretty cloudy, and that's due to the formation of very small amounts of the incredibly insoluble silver chloride. I go ahead and decide to filter this off and then return my silver nitrate solution to the beaker. I then begin to slowly basify my silver nitrate solution with a 2.5 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Typically this type of reaction would produce a metal hydroxide, but silver hydroxide is incredibly unstable and immediately decomposes to black silver oxide. This is continued until no more silver oxide forms, and then I transfer this to a larger beaker and begin to add concentrated ammonia. This ammonia is about 30% strength, and as it's added to the silver oxide, you'll notice it begins to redissolve. This is due to the formation of a diamine silver hydroxide complex, which you can also do using copper, mercury, or nickel. Once the silver oxide is totally dissolved, my Tollins reagent is done, and I'm ready to make some silver mirrors. Now the way this works is that Tollins reagent is a mild oxidizing agent that will selectively oxidize aldehydes. At the same time, silver ions are reduced to pure elemental silver, which forms as a perfect mirror finish. The selectivity for aldehydes makes this a useful analytical tool, but if you just want to make a silver mirror, you simply need to add some simple aldehyde like formaldehyde or glucose. The resulting solution can then either be poured into something that you'd like to plate the inside of, or sprayed onto the outside of something you'd like to plate the outside of. It will probably destroy your spray bottle though, so I decided to stick with pouring. Also, as far as I know, the spray application requires formaldehyde and glucose won't work. Anyway, aside from the light bulb you saw at the beginning, I decided to silver plate a few test tubes and a watch glass. The watch glass actually worked pretty well as a functional mirror, and I had a lot of fun messing around with it. As a side note, even though this is how we made mirrors for hundreds of years, this isn't how we make mirrors anymore, mostly due to the cost. Most modern mirrors are made by the micro-deposition of aluminum, and while these are cheaper and more chemically resistant, I really don't like them. This is because aluminum is about 10% less reflective than silver, and it also tends to blue shift pretty heavily. Silver, on the other hand, is a lot better at reflecting reds and greens, and gives a much more true-to-life reflection. Anyway, so that I don't ramble about mirrors all day, I'll go ahead and call it here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more like it, consider following me here on TikTok or subscribing to my YouTube. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.